true to get a target um, away from from laser dodges. So I think primarily the Harley has to be very careful on the engages that this true might do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yep, doing their last changes here, and we are going to have our final game one between Evos, Lynx, and Laser Duchess. Yes, and let's have a recap of the lineup of both of these teams for Laser Duchess. We have here Akai for Wings, Leomard for Kiana, Guinevere for Liuka, Kufra for Kaela, and Harley for Powerpuff. Let's take a look at what Lynxes are bringing to the matchup. Evos rocking of that. Shu by Vayne. Lunox by Dexy. Harith by Ali. Grok by Quinn. And Diggy on that. Oh, by Jessica. Yes, indeed. We're now in a battlefield, guys. Let's Five see seconds. what kind of action is going to happen between these two teams. They haven't met, just, uh, they haven't met, met each other yet. And this is going to be their first time. But they did... They were able primarily to um, team um, Laser Duchess. They primarily were able to watch a lot of fights that Evos Lynx did. So I guess study-wise or review-wise, I think Evos or rather Laser was able to find more resources online on how they can review their opponents. Study them, right? Study them. But I think the key here is going to be uh, Evos's uh, triple retribution setup. You see this? Yeah, we can uh, see that. They have That's three, a lot. Yeah, they have three heroes with retribution, so you can expect them to go deep behind enemy lines and invade as soon as possible and get any kind of creep, uh, small creep caps that they can, and just uh, kind of starve maybe uh, the. Correct, but we can see an exchange of crabs in here on the top as well as in the bottom lane. It's a matter of who will farm first. But given that uh, three retribution is on the side of the red team, Team Evos, there, it seems that they're fasting. I mean, they are farming way too fast compared to what Laser Dutch is doing here. Mm -hmm. But the quick engage between uh, Vayne and Kiana here. But uh, Kiana is not going to be alone as Kaela and Powerpuff come in. Jumping in, up goes uh, Kiana down into the dumps. Vayne as well. That wall is keeping Powerpuff out of turn. Oh. Range. And Kiana is going to drop as well as Dexy hits level 4. That is a 2 for 1 trade in the middle lane. A lot of action has happened within 2 minutes game time right after they got their ultimate. But look at that Liuka on the bottom lane farming her way around in the bottom lane part of the map, taking her time. But I think uh, another good position that we can see in here is that Evil's Lynx got their position early on to that first roll of the game with that wall coming up from the graph, not allowing Laser to get inside. Um, you know, they were able to take that turtle pretty much easily. Almost free. As uh, we see here, Powerpuff trying to get Quinn off, but Quinn is going to be near walls, and Grok does get a little chunk here near walls. Oh, but Ali taking down Kiana. She is going to be doing that from the top, and Kaela and Powerpuff are just a little too late to be able to save their Leomar. And there you go. One for zero trade, but in the bottom lane, 2v1 happening now, but Vayne was very fast to react, allowing her to still flicker out from the fight. Potential two-man gank, two-woman gank uh, in the bottom lane. Vayne is left alone pretty quietly. She is going to be able to build up uh, quite the wave, crashing down onto that turret, giving her space to get this gold buff. As uh, there are uh, four, sorry, three members now of uh, EVOS trying to bait out if Winx and Lyuka want to fight. Let's see. In case, it's going to be a 2v1. The three situation, Kufra is about to come in, but I think it's a little bit way too far. It won't connect. Dexy will get a kill away from that Luka. And there you go, Hurricane Dance coming out from that Akai. Apparently, um, it's not really connecting so well, but this time, looks like they want to get that Queen. I wonder if the ultimate will be enough. Apparently, no, because that Garak has some shields or additional magic defense and physical defense whenever he's near turret, I mean walls. 
Quinn is doing so well here. Quinn just did her best to body block her allies. And uh, yeah, there was no choice for Powerpuff but to let out all her skills onto the Grok, onto Quinn. And Quinn was just so chunky. She was just so chunky to die. And uh, they are going to get away from that exchange with no casualties. They got away scot-free. Second turtle now coming up. And uh, it looks like the members of EVOS are uh, closing in on this. But not if Powerpuff and uh, Kaela have anything to say about it. Quinn, once again, making space for her allies. Just threatening that spin. Oh, Allie, nice one. Dexie and Jessica getting that free turtle. I'm Johnny being top right now. So is Phantom Steed and Kids of course. Ayala is going to pay the price, so is Winx, but Cheska is going to drop in the process. Wow, triple kill right there for Evos and Winx. They are going to get some space as Powerpuff is pretty low. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to defend this turret from Dexie and Win. And while that is happening in the middle lane, that pressure is also happening in the bottom lane where in vain on the two actually putting so much pressure against Luca. She she really wants a 1v1 against this Guinevere, but Wings is here to back up. They really need to get a push because here Evos is actually doing all what they can, doing their best to get objectives really, really fast. So it seems like triple retribution is working uh, 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 in their favor. Oh my god. Evos owns quite a bit of the map as they take down both retreat. top and mid. And I think it's just a matter of time for Faith to take some points. Wakes underneath that turret. She is going to be trying to run a red right now. Guinevere as well, Liuka blinking out of the way, throwing out a Psycho Ball just for good measure as Vayne and Dexie are stalking their prey. Liuka just barely spinning around, no more turn to speak of, Liuka blinking away. Is it going to be enough? Is she going to be safe? Powerpuff being blocked out of her escape. There is some damage right there, Vayne is going to pay the price as Kaela jumps in with the bouncing ball. Dexie is kind of low, so does Kaela going down. Dexie being uh, blocked from uh, that deadly... Sorry, Deadly Magics as she goes into Order and Chaos. Yuka going down Shut as well. Dexie down. is on a roll here, but Powerpuff is going to make her pay. And Powerpuff facing down her <laughs> her nemesis in Quinn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two women left that Powerpuff on the Harley as well as Kin on the Garok. I think I got to commend not only how Dexie on the Harley is priority. I mean, I mean um, what was she using? That Lunox. On, on trying to get targets, I, I think we also have to check out how Kin is doing her work as a Grok tank support in here. I mean, all of her positions is just on point. She knows where to do the face check. She knows where to create space for her teammates. She knows how to cover up for his teammates in such a way no one will get inside. But in here, it looks like the turtle will be getting, uh, will be uh, stolen by the red team. He was linked, and this time they will be backing away since objective is now secured. Ooh, time journey being popped there by Cheska just so that they get away safely as both teams reset and recover themselves. But check it out, down bottom, Bane is getting some free time alone. She is just, you know, relaxing down there. And uh, nope, Winks and Liuka already find out that Bane is just taking too much time there and uh, potentially might take. Ooh. Wow, and oh, mid here, Quinn just poking in. Yes, and Vayne as well, you know, very confident on trying to give vision on this part of the map. I don't know why they didn't do a face check in the brush. Vayne is actually there, but now luckily for them, Vayne did actually went outside of the brush. That's why she got caught. I, I, I think Vayne should have not. Instead, while four members from Laser was there roaming around that area, I, I hope she just did not go outside and get caught. I don't know. I don't know what Vane was thinking. If she could like get away with a kill yeah. on like a four a woman unit, uh, I don't know what she was thinking. But I yeah, think she, she just wanted to get the Harley though. But her teammates, Laser Duchess, oh, was very reactive, and of course they really want to save this Harley. I mean, Harley is one of their main sources of damage. 
Here we go now, another turn, looking like it's going to go down for Evo's links, but Kaela is going to pay the price underneath their inhibitor turret as Dexy is uh, the victim of uh, deadly magic, but it's just not going to be enough. They are going to be stealing this turret underneath their nose, but there is, seems to be a threat up top as Ali almost killed uh, Ryuko. Yeah, again, if, if not for the right timing of that teleport back to the base, probably she's dead. But anyway, everyone's just dancing in here in the middle lane now, but the creep wave, you could easily notice that this is currently in favor of Eva's links. Kiana on the Leo Merge forced to clear that wave on the top, but looking in here in the bottom lane, they really want more turrets, they really want more objectives, and they are actually engaging onto the fight. A lot of blue bars still up, um, but then again, aggressively playing with the protection of this Garak. Evos is just as aggressive as they want, but this time, Vayne though on the top lane, I think she just went too deep between these two inhibited turrets on the top and mid, so I think they, they should be a little bit more careful. Yes, they got an advantage now in terms of kills, gold, and objective plus the itemization. But, um, you know, they still have to reserve something for themselves. Yeah, Vayne in the past few uh, skirmishes have been getting caught off. Uh, quite a little bit, but Quinn here trying to run away. She is going to use her ult to be able to charge up and get some space between her and the rest of Laser Duchess. She is going to get away from that as Dexy and Quinn proceed to just basically take everything they can from the opponent's jungle. That's that's really mean. Yes, and let's see a clump up together for both of the teams on the top lane since the first lord is now available um meantime there's a lot of catching up that must be done by laser duchess but their farm area is a little bit restricted now that they have three turrets left we just have to see kin still gotta comment how doing how she is doing so well in terms of leading the way being the front liner of the team and I haven't seen any any skirmishes yet wherein this skin didn't do so well. But in a way, it looks like something's going to happen now. Time journey by that diggy. Everyone's slapping up together. A jump coming up from the Guinevere. Luka is going so low. Ali is as well. But here in the middle lane, we have Luka versus Ali. Ali will get the kill in the form of the Harith. Kiana is the last woman standing, trying to back away. But she might get cornered in here. Nope, she's actually safe. But instead, Evos will go for turret takes instead. There you go. Will this be a wipeout now? Yes, indeed. They just have to clear the wave. And they can opt for that base. And... Is this gonna be it? There's the wall from the Grok! Stopping even the Harley and the Kufra to go defend their base. First game is going to Evos Lynx. Congratulations, Evos Lynx. They finished the game 12 minutes, 11 minutes.